Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, in this video, I want to talk about the first uh, short story in the Eternal Moments short story collection of, of, of E.M. Forster's um, short collected works. This has sh uh, six of his um, shorter pieces, and I want to talk about the first one in this collection. The first one is called The Machine Stops, and it is actually a science fiction short story. Um, and so I, I was not expecting any sort of science fiction. I was really expecting every story to be sort of the classic E.M. Forster uh, writing style that uh, he he is known for. Obviously, he is a he was a Victorian, or I'm sorry, an Edwardian author. He wrote during the reign of uh, King Edward, um, and so I, I was I was expecting more of that sort of traditional Forster writing. The first story um, is a science fiction short story, and it is absolutely fantastic. Um, the, the main premise of the short story is that the earth is no longer uh, habitable by humans. And so human life has taken to living underneath the earth, digging out these, um, ma the, these gigantic cities and, and communities underneath the, uh, underneath the ground. And everything that they need all of all of their needs, all of their their physical needs and their emotional needs and their spiritual needs are taken care of for them by what they refer to as the machine. And essentially, as we read more and more of the story, we realize, uh, or we are we are told that the machine uh, was created by men, was created by by people to cater to their needs. And soon enough, the machine became too powerful for humans to control and the the machine then takes over human life and through the descriptions in this story we find out that the machine is many things the machine is the system that provides clean air to these underground um, cities the machine allows for uh, communication between two people who are not um, in the same room through uh, something that almost reads like video conferencing, like a Zoom call um, or, or text messages. And this story was written in 19, uh, 1909. Um, and so it's, it's really interesting to read it now in 2022 and see uh, how a lot of the sort of bizarre concepts in this story or what would have been bizarre concepts when it was originally written are now completely commonplace. Um, of course, quite a few of them are still um, completely unrealistic, and we don't have anything like them. But a couple of the of the points that are hit that are hit on in this story are quite applicable um, in today's society, such as the um, lack of of human connection. So many of us will be connected with people um, just through technology, and, and no longer really have a need to meet up with someone in, in person necessarily, or uh, we don't have to wait until we see someone to communicate with them. We can communicate with them um, all the time, 24 seven, we always have open communication. And so um, a lot of the, um, a lot of the modern technology that we have today is represented very loosely um, in this short story. Uh, but uh, essentially, the, the 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 plot of this story is our main character is an elderly woman, and she is quite content with her life. She likes her life uh, being dictated by the machine. She likes being taken care of. She likes being provided for. She has she has no problems at all with the way that um, humans have adapted to a a new kind of life once the Earth was no longer. Um, able to be lived on and she has a son uh, and her son is very much a rebel he is he's very much against what the machine stands for he's very much against uh, what the world has become and what humans have become and he takes it upon himself to find out how life was before the machine um, w was invented before the machine took over uh, human life and so uh, we have a lot of conversations between the mother and the son, sort of their opposing views, and both of them sort of trying to convince the other person that they're right. Um, and so there's quite a lot of interesting confrontation between these two characters. Um, the son travels down to the to the um, uh, travels up to the surface of the earth, which is something that is legal in this uh, society. But you have to have all of these special permits, and you have to do it this certain way to do it legally. And he chooses to to do it um, 
his own way and to not get to not to not get the proper form signed to not get the pop, proper permissions and he just goes to the surface and essentially by doing this he is um he's giving himself a death sentence because once he returns back to the underground world um he is he is um basically arrested and um essentially um sentenced to death and at the um at the end of of the short story you know cert um this will be a spoiler, but at the end of the short story, essentially this machine uh, breaks down and it's through certain actions that this son has taken that he's basically sabotaged this machine. And the, the end of the novel, or the end of the short story essentially is the, the, the end of the machine and the end of humanity. Uh, but it, it's, it's tinged with, it's the end of humanity, uh, but not really because humans will, will find a new way to live. And it's an incredibly interesting short story. I really was not expecting anything science fiction at all from Ian Forster. Uh, certainly, I was not expecting any sort of science fiction within um, uh, this this um, collection or from this time period. It's absolutely um, an incredible short story. Uh, of course, Ian Forster is a fantastic writer. The plot was incredibly interesting. Uh, the characters were very interesting, very convincing. Um, lots of depth to them, lots of depth to the overall story and to the overall narrative. Um, it, it was incredibly enjoyable and certainly will uh, be one that I will be rereading again in the future. Um, so that was just some of my thoughts on The Machine Stops by Ian e. Forster. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any comments you would like to leave, please feel free to do so and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.